right, headed out to look at another kayak. It is also an Ascend brand. It is the D10. It is a sit inside model, not set up for fishing. Um, neither, it has no modifications done to it. It's pretty much you know how you get it when you get it. So let's go have a look at that. Here we have the Ascend D10 model. It's a 10 foot long kayak at 31 inches, uh, 30 inches across. Has a really delightful folding backrest that has some slots to keep it, you know, secured down into the to the bottom of the boat. This is a sit inside model. We got some real nice bungee on the front and on the back, along with a shaded removable uh, flat that allows you to have some storage back in there. But there is nothing that. Um, separates the inside one end to the inside of any of the other end. So it's pretty much uh, hollow all the way across, but it has a real nice strain in the back to allow water to come out, which uh, makes it pretty easy to deal with at the end of the day. This is the bottom of the D10. It's got a slightly more pronounced middle ridge than you might find on uh, a slightly more broad fishing kayak. This one's kind of made for going through the water, but of course it's got that extra stability. Hey, Dustin and Doggy. It's got that same W shape as the SF12, some of your broader kayaks. It's a bit more narrow, you know, it uh, arcs up more on the outside than some of the other ones I've seen do. I haven't really gotten to ride in these ones yet, so it's pretty interesting, but pretty stable as well. One of my favorite things about the DT-10 so far, apart from it just being real nice and agile, is it has two, count them, two, bungee, uh, bungee powered paddle holders. So if you um, were gonna use something particularly interesting on one side and needed to put a paddle on the other side, or wanted to carry a stakeout pole, or had something interesting to that effect for this particular model, then you'd be able to do that and have plenty of space for whatever else you wanted. Uh, yeah, and who doesn't love cup holders in space? All right, that was the Ascend D10, uh, a sit-inside model. Uh, I really kind of like that purple color. You might not have been able to see it because the uh, the shadow that we were in while we were filming that. I really shouldn't have been filming it there. Uh, but it's a uh, deep purple and black color. Um, not quite as outfitted as um, a fishing kayak might be, but. I think it's probably still pretty comfortable. It's got that nice folding seat rest. It's not um, right on the bottom of the boat, so it is um, raised a little bit. There's a lot of you know storage space behind the seat, underneath that nice little flap. That flap will help keep the water off of some things, but it's not waterproof by any means. Um, if a wave comes up, a wave comes up, it's going to get you. Um, in addition to that, it being <clears throat> a sit-inside kayak, or kind of a sit inside kayak, water's gonna get in there. So if you get one of those, make sure that you have um, you know, a bailing cup or a little um, pump to pump out some water if you, you know, are taking on a lot of heavy waves or if you're hopping in and out a whole bunch. Um, but like I always say, uh, give me a subscribe, give me a follow, give me a uh, comment, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, give me a uh, uh, a glancing wave and let me know what you guys think uh, if there's any you know boats that you want to see a review of or have me uh, go and fool around in let me know I'll go find one even if I have to rent it I'll let you guys see it and see how it performs see what it looks like up close and personal um, but until next time I'm Lucas at Captain Longbong and you can find my brother at Dr. Hotbox we'll see you again later